Well, um, man, beer. Well, fuck. Did a tit bit of a problem here. Um, that is not exactly round anymore. She got a little tweaked when it got fucking, when she popped. Um, I did cut this one off. Cut the, the shit end off of that one. Um, it was compromised right there. Rusted the fuck out. We go look at the... That part doesn't look so bad. We go look at the part we cut off. Um... You can see... See that fucking... Where she's... Fucking, she was compromised. It's really thin right there. I mean, you can just hear it. It's just pop can fucking thin. And she just tore. See how that was, uh, it's been cracked. It's not clean like the rest. And fucking, it was compromised, so. Whatever. We're gonna see what we can come up here. I gotta, with, I gotta fucking try to. Round that son of a bitch back out. If I can make it semi-round, you can see we got a little warmed up with the grease in there. Um, so we're gonna have to try to bring that fucker back into round, and then uh, we'll see what we can come up with. All right, so I'm not gonna recommend that you do what I'm about to do here. In fixing this PTO shaft, especially fixing a PTO shaft. Um, take some electrical tape, wrap around that. That makes my nice shim for that. So it's now it doesn't want to flop in there. It still moves. So what we do is on the back here, we put a wrap on there too. That'll help square it into the pipe. And or into the shaft, the tube, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So we put one back here as well. Right? See how snug that is now? Nice friction fit in there. So what we're going to do, is we're going to go ahead and slide this back together. And because we have that, we need to, uh, we need to prop this up to where it can uh, all come together here without a load on it. So we're going to have to get a block to stick in there. Beautiful part about not throwing shit away. <laughs> it's about where that runs. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this together and I'm gonna. <laughs> you guys are gonna go fucking nuts on this. We're kind of going to eyeball this thing. It's not going to be perfect. Um, and I kind of want to shim everything to make it... That one can be used a little bit of a shim in there. Which isn't a huge deal. Um, we'll find something to stick in there. To shim it out. A zip tie even.
right? Or thicker. You gotta double it. That's better. Equal gap all the way around. Because that one's hot around, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and tack this thing off on the sides here, and then we're gonna spin it a little bit, see where we end up. for the phone too. May as well break that today too. Oh fuck, we scratched the fuck right out of it. <laughs> Whatever. Um See if that'll ground, I doubt it, but we'll try. Pull our zip tie out. Um, see how do we want to spin this? We don't want to fire up the tractor. We kind of want to just see if we're close. Okay with it. I guess we'll weld up and find out.
it's not like it's a super fucking precise setup anyway. 540 RPMs on that son of a bitch and away we go. Well, uh... Now I rebuilt the PTO shaft on the fucking chopper. Um, hopefully, this fucker will work now. I'm not banking on it, but we'll see what happens. That was the other, my other alternative for fucking two bits old drive shaft, I believe, off the skitter. Bob had laying around, so. Who knows, we're back to it. See what happens. Bring it back. Okay, so we're just coming over here in the lawn and we're gonna see if it works. Nice and easy.
<laughs> All right, well, I haven't had a ton of time for making video today, but um, check this shit out. Chopper's on. Um, the only thing I don't have hooked up yet is I got the linear actuator on and it does work. We verified that. I just don't have a I don't have a wire to run it up here. Um, I don't have a trailer connector. I could go rob one off of a trailer, I suppose. And then, uh, so I could plug it in, but I don't have a wire to go to the front and I need to put a stand on it to, to hold everything. You know what I mean? Um, this thing's been, was test fired yesterday. We ran it, it does work. It does all the things that I want it to do, so that's a plus. <laughs> uh, we did make some modifications. We put this hitch on earlier, and uh, I actually had to ch cut a chunk out of it and move it back because it was, that had to reach too far forward. But we just cut that out, re-welded it. It works on there, the ball hitch on a fucking farm implement. It is what it is. You guys can, I got two inch receiver on the tractor, so why does it matter, right? To make it easier if I need to tow it behind the truck, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the flail chopper, it seems like it works okay for having dull knives on it. It does spool up, seems like it runs smooth and all that stuff. We're gonna leave those off there for now because I think I'm gonna have to mess with the chains a little bit. But other than that, we're good to go there. So I think we're just gonna leave it like it is at the moment. The chute pretty much flies right into the back. So what we're doing today is long straight stretch anyway. We gotta clean this out of here. So that's my next step. I'm gonna have Katie give me a hand. We're gonna clean all this out. We're gonna kind of shore this fucking thing up a little bit. We got braces and all that stuff that we gotta, we can put in. And then uh, put the back on the dump gate, tailgate, whatever. And we're gonna throw some OSB down just to cover these holes up. I have some scraps of OSB. We're just gonna sheet it and get on with our fucking day, so. We'll bring you back here in a minute and show you what the fuck we got going on. All right, well, let's do the rundown here. I'll give you the whole fucking spiel. I bolted the tailgate on. And then I realized that this thing's never had anything to hold the tailgate shut. I don't know what they did before. They chained it shut or wired it shut or what the fuck they did. But So we had to put some holes in there to give that something to latch on to. So that works. We put the, the old grain doors in there. Um, in all of its fucking glory. Whatever. It, it is what it is. It'll work. I gotta tell you, I need some fucking. We're gonna have to give that one some juice. And uh, so on the inside here, we just lined this fucker with OSB. You can see it's all scraps. Two cuts filled the whole damn thing in, except for that part right there. But I'm not. I don't care about that. There's no holes in it, and it doesn't really matter. So we uh, we're gonna give her the shit and see what happens here. Um. This one, I'm not too worried about. We're not hauling grain in it anyway, so. Um, I think that wheel's gonna need a little work eventually. That bearing, we did rework that one. And it it works okay. You can see there's just enough clearance on that son bitch, but um, the rest of it seems like we're doing okay on it, so we're gonna give her the shit and See what the fuck happens here. I'll punch some air in that tire with the horrible air compressor. Probably good enough. I... So 
So we'll get that little bastard. And uh, throw some air in it. Where did I set it? There it is. I had to use it this morning too. There you go. I got tires for this thing, but we got 16.5 wheels. We got two 16, two 16 fives. Like that one. That's a 16 five, right? That's got a couple miles left in it. I believe that is a 16.5 fire call. Yep, 10 16.5. I put a fucking skid steer tire on it. I got a couple of them. This one is a 875 16.5. This is a 16. Yeah, we got 16s on the front, 16 fives on the back. I have a set of 16s for it, but I need two more 16 inch wheels. So, we're just gonna run them the way it is, fuck it. If I pop a tire, we'll throw a, throw a fucking skid steer tire on there. I got that one I, right, right there by the pole barn that I took off. So if I need it, fuck, come and get it. We can dump the fucking wagon on the side of the road to hell with it. Oh, we're full. A lot of times what I do, because this has the one turn regulator on it, you can set the pressure. So I'll just set that pressure to what I want, tape the trigger down on the fucking, uh, oh, come on. So there's your fucking brief rundown of what we got going on. All that's left now is to go try this son of a bitch out, see what happens. <laughs>